Wayne UNC Healthcare is proud to support Wayne County's high school athletes. Our orthopedic physical therapy team is here to keep you healthy and get you back in the game. Wayne UNC Healthcare wants you to live well. Well, a lot of that generation is, uh, you know, basically gone. They've all passed on. I mean, Mr. Daltrey is uh, 97. Uh, I did speak to a gentleman in Goldsboro this past week uh, who, who came to Goldsboro that fall. He had moved from Ronald Crap as Frank Joyner, who's still uh, living in Goldsboro, and he's 96. So there's just not a lot of folks who remember the team that well, particularly. Uh, but I know it was a source of pride for a lot of years, and uh, um, one of the guys on the Goldsboro History site said, I can remember my school teacher talking about that undefeated earthquake team uh, in the early 50s when he was a, a, a student at Goldsboro Senior High School. So, uh, uh, you know, from some tough times of the Depression and uh, having something to, to really get behind and promote. I know Mr. Daughtry said the, the students were all really gung-ho as far as the, the school spirit, especially that year. And it was just a, a memorable experience for all of them. The 1937 Goldsboro Earthquakes, an undefeated caucus of God-fearing, wiry, strong overachievers, were equal parts determined and dynamic, and led in the backfield by a young man who specialized in making substance from the slightest. It, it, money was just hard, and I would get all the jobs I could find in the neighborhood, you know, Sometimes they paid me, sometimes they wouldn't. But, for instance, the lady across the street had a pear tree, and I used to uh, climb a tree and, and, and pull the pear. It wouldn't knock them down because it bruised them. I'd get out as far as that limb as I could <laughs> and uh, put, it, put it in a, a container. And the teenager performed on the field as well, leading an upstart collective to season-opening victories over Selma and Whiteville and just in time for a meeting with an old friend, arch rival Wilson. We were, we were surprised that we would do that well in their backyard. They had a, had a circus going on and the student body went to see the circus. They didn't see their team get their butts beat. <laughs> and that's right because Hollingsworth wrote that there was a greater turnout of Goldsboro fans yes, than Wilson fans. Absolutely. And that there was a, a state trooper that kind of catered to me, you know, and he was there that day. And he took pictures. I wish I had them. Never did see him of during the game. And, and so the beat continued for Daughtry and the Mighty Quakes, who over their next three games allowed just six points before squeaking by pad popping Roanoke Rapids outfit and long into the Goldsboro record books. We've been here for a couple of days going through the past, but how often do you think about this team? Every day, honestly. And I, that's, that's not, that's, I'm not just saying that, but I, I think about it at night when I lie down. The greatest moments in my life, you cannot help it. You've got them in yours, you know. And uh, I still, uh, last night, I thought half the night about it. They, they, they played hard. I, I think they played over their heads sometimes, really, this team did. Because they, they were in there trying to make that tackle hard. And they throw themselves a lot of times at a, at a runner and knock him down sometimes. You know, knock one down. You got that old Harry Hollingsworth. He loved that team to death. Harry did. He, uh, Lucky to have him along for the ride, right? We were. We really were. He was for us 100%. And he, uh, wherever he was, there was talk about this team. You can be sure about that. 